and we're back with Meet Me at the Flagpole. Today we have defensive coordinator Todd Middleton. Coach, welcome to the show. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me. So we had that exciting spring game on yesterday. So just we've been sharing our thoughts about it. What are your thoughts about the game overall? Well, the big thing, I think that we uh, got some teaching in, uh, went back to, you know, fundamentals. We wanted to build on what we had already. We feel like we have a very good um, foundation returning, a uh, great nucleus of guys. And we just wanted to get in there and, and polish a little bit more what we had been doing before. There's nothing new. All of the uh, terminology and everything remain the same. So I think the kids just really picked up from there and just, you know, just went on from there. I thought it was a very, very positive uh, spring. And uh, I'm glad nobody got hurt. <laughs> That's the God. question I wanted to hear. Thank how was the health concern? Uh, the health is is really really good. You know, I don't I don't recall having any injuries during the spring. We had some guys um, recovering from off season surgery, but nobody got hurt during the spring, which is which is always good. You know, because you know going into the fall, you want to be as healthy as possible. Absolutely. Coach, how, how did the guys respond to the energy? Did they did they expect that level of energy at the spring game? And and how, what was their response to it when they got back in the locker room? Oh, uh, I thought it was awesome. I, I thought they would, I asked them about it. They were really, really appreciative. Um, that's something I just hope that we build on and keep that going in the right direction. That's something that's just unique. Um, I was speaking with one of the new coaches, uh, Hurley Brown, that coaches defensive backs. He's a, a Floridian like myself. He played at University of Miami. And I was like, what do you think about this? He's like, man, this is it's just a different vibe. It just it just hits me different. So he was excited. Um, I was excited. As a matter of fact, uh, one of our coaches, Coach Burton, kind of filmed a little bit of it on his camera. And I passed it on some, to some of my relatives that live in the Midwest to see, to let them know how we do it at the HBCUs. I saw it. Uh, I, saw, I saw that on job. Twitter earlier. Mm -hmm. That was a great job. Nice. <laughs> Oh, you say you need to run them stands back like we're running everything else back. <laughs> <laughs> for, for those of, uh, of our audience who aren't aware, you were newly named as the defensive coordinator. And I don't know, uh, is this your first time being uh, a D coordinator? Uh, is it your first time, you know, being a play caller on the defensive side? Talk to us about that. Um, and, you know, how, how, different is it in, from your past experience? well I, i've done it before um i actually called some games earlier that people didn't know about um the rice game i actually called that game um a lot of the terminology me and coach miller had worked in worked with uh side by side um you know i've been coaching a long time so but just the organizational standpoint uh coming in now when you're the guy uh, everybody's looking to you. And the big thing is just being able to not only uh, do the X's and O's, but just to motivate the guys again to go out there and execute and play hard. So that's that's been an adjustment, but uh, I can't say that I haven't done it before. I've been coaching a long time. Yeah, <laughs> just put yeah. it like that. <laughs> yeah. I had a chance to have a conversation with Jason Dumas on the sideline and just asked him who did he uh, who did he think – had one of the better springs and he meant first name he said was Jesse Evans. He thought Jesse Evans really took a step forward to be the monster that we know him potentially being. Speak yeah. on, on Jesse and his potential. Jesse, uh, just a true sophomore, really, really gifted. You know, we've got a nickname. I call him Shaka on the side, you know, cause he's an imposing figure, you know? So uh, he has the same, uh, same uh skin tone that i do so we share a lot of things in common so but uh but uh he's really really had a really solid spring he's played with a great motor uh, we're really pleased he's had tremendous tremendous uh production um a lot of a lot of sacks and tackles for losses and things like that so we just want to keep him going in the right direction you know we just tried to settle them down from last year you know kind of correct some things that we saw that he was doing on film uh, and he's really bought into it. And I just, he has, he's been very, very impressive. That's probably been the first person that I've been the most impressed with from the defense. Another uh, member of the linebacking crew who I was very impressed with, we only got a glimpse of him though, uh, Jeremiah Harris. 
from uh, his first couple games in, in the fall season. Uh, he looked like he's coming back well from ACL surgery. Speak about his potential, what you saw from him in the little bit of game action we saw, and, and how do you see him fitting into the linebacker rotation next season? Yeah, Je Je uh, Jeremiah is very, very talented, uh, transferred to us from, from Kansas State. Um, he's kind of a hybrid type guy that can drop into coverage and do things like that. But then he also has uh, elite pass rushing ability. So it would be up to me to put him in the right place where he can really, you know, just cause havoc in both spots during the, during the game. But he's, he's really talented. Uh, he has come along. Uh, his attitude has been uh, great. He's been working at the rehab, and he's he's really looking good. I'm looking forward to getting him back full speed, uh, strength when we start in the in the um, summer camp. Oh, excited to a, see him. I have a follow up question. Joe named specific players that he kind of caught his eyes. I want to know from your perspective, who are some uh, guys out there that we may not have talked about that. Uh, are really high on your list, either because of what they're doing off the field or what they're doing um, in practice uh, to take that next step next season? Well, um, Drake Cheatham is a, is a leader. Um, he's been all conference two years in a row. He's really, really been in the system. And we do a lot of, uh, you know, he wants to do everything. He wants to line up everywhere. Mm -hmm. He wants to be the hunting badger. And I just, you know, love his attitude about uh, the system and how we do things. And another man that's tremendously talent, talented is Trey Green. Um, you know, the young man from Everman High School can really, really run. Um, yeah. Ran 10 6 in high school. Uh, transition from the strong safety position and he's kind of a, a hybrid now if you look around you see him had a lot of positions but he really really can ex express a lot of speed to the football and gives us a lot of flexibility you know I'm just really really I'm really chomping at the bit to get a healthy Jason Dumas uh, back on the field and you know imagine guys trying to block you know concentrate on Jason Dumas and there's Trey Green and you know guys like that so um I'm just excited what we got coming back just a matter of everybody getting back you know totally healthy healthy and keep going the, the direction that we're going in the same we're, format coach last one I have for you is um who are some, you know sometimes you have these early transfers that are able to come in early do we happen to have any that uh, came in early before the summer portion that were able to get some work in if i'm not mistaken i don't think we had any mid semester transfers if i'm not mistaken um you know we we were just really with the nucleus of guys that we had now we'll have some guys that we signed it'll be here in the summer um okay. you know miles mckinney um, Deshaun Brooks, you know, um, I forgot Deshaun's last name, the linebacker from UL Monroe. He was here at the practice yesterday. So those are some of the guys defensively that we're looking, uh, coming in and adding to our depth and contributing. So we got a chance to be, you know, really, really good on defense if I, if I don't mess it up. <laughs> we, we, we no got a fast defense. defense. You know. like, no pressure, no pressure. No, 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 no pressure, no pressure. <laughs> I got a, a little bit of different question when with eyes towards spring day being even bigger and better next year, you got a player uh, who was all another player who was there, uh, Dejan Seatbelt Lewis, who is not only a football player, but a baseball player. So oh, yes, theoretically, um, he would be assuming he would be playing baseball during spring on, on spring game day. How would you handle that? Well, we've talked about it with um, with Coach Riggins. Uh, he's excited. I mean, he, I saw him yesterday, and uh, he's not going to cover off the baseball, you know. And the thing that's <laughs> a little scary, you know, I'm like, man, this guy might get drafted, you know. So then you get into the financial, the financials of it. Hey, do I want to go and, you know, see what it's just all depends on, let's say, hey, what the Benjamins are looking like. So, but he he is talented. Um, he can do ba both. We, we've discussed that. Um, you know, we really like what he brought to the table on, on film, you know, being athletically uh, a hybrid type safety guy that can move around and uh, is really, really, really good in space. So and he's got a great, great frame. Uh, I see this slim down a little bit because of baseball, but 
He's doing a tremendous job in baseball. We see his Twitter and stuff like that and see these home runs that he's hitting. So we're, we're you know, we're, we're watching him, but we're, we're excited to have him. I want to say kudos to you all, Coach, for allowing that. You know, a lot of folks get really selfish, and you can understand that. But the fact that you have the relationship with the baseball coach and how you make that work in terms of recruiting. So kudos for you all doing that type of work and getting it done. Yeah, you have to be flexible these days. It's about acquiring talent. Um, you know, here at the HBCUs, uh, sometimes, you know, you don't have those type of players that's interested in our, uh, you know, what we have here. But now you have a player of that caliber that's interested in us. You know, who am I just to be selfish? Say, hey, you could do this or not when he obviously has a gift at uh, playing both. You know, some people, you know, they say they would like to play both. You know, I coached at the University of Kansas, and, you know, I had a young man say, oh, yeah, coach, I feel like I could go out for the basketball team. I'm looking at him like, really? Uh, no, it's not what you think. <laughs> but he's a, he's, a, he's, he's a legitimate he's a legitimate baseball prospect that can play, but he also is a very talented football player. Awesome. Yeah, I saw that interview. He he interviewed Joe Gleason interviewed him yesterday and it's on his Twitter. He's definitely excited about coming. One thing I'll ask you, do you think the guys are playing with a, a chip on their shoulder this season due to the uh, SWAC championship game last year? Oh, definitely, definitely. We we got something to prove. Um, you know, they've got a taste of what it's like at that level and playing that in an environment and having a chance to put the icing on the cake and we came up a little short. Um you know, I'm not trying to place the blame. I felt that we played very well defensively. Um, well, Shadur had been averaging a tremendous amount of uh, passing yardage during the season where we held him to 85 yards pass. And so they know who we are. Um, they know what we have to come back or coming back. But that's something down the road. But as far as our players, I think they're focused. Um, you know, Coach McDowell is doing a tremendous job of keeping everybody, you know, saying, hey, we got to finish it now. We got to get to that. There's a, just a higher standard and a higher level of expectation that we try to meet every day. I, got, I have one more question. Uh, we, we, the fans, I know they want us to ask about the quarterback position. Um, C.J. Dumas, he's coming in in the fall. We saw Trazon. We saw Chris Scott yesterday. Uh, what... Don't don't give us what you can't give us, but give us what you can. What are your thoughts about the quarterback position? What are you, what is CJ Dumas's role going to be when he shows up in July? Uh, give us what you can, Coach. Um, CJ is a young man that through the transition, I remember me and Coach McDowell going to his house and continuing the recruiting process. And he appreciated that, and thus he decided to sign with us with us really good. Um, coming off a state championship win, um, tremendous expectations have been tremendously uh, successful, but, you know, it's a, it's a maturation process. Um, you know, Trajan, it seems like he's been here longer than I have, so um, he understands the <laughs> offense. He's He's, he's, he's doing a really good job with offense, but I think with CJ, he can give a little bit, you know, he's more of a dual threat type of guy. So it's just a matter of what he can do once he gets in the camp, how much information can he process and can he process those type of um, uh, um, responsibilities under duress because you got college guys coming down the, coming down the pipe after him now. So Smith is really up to him. Um, coming in here and learning the system. I think Coach Frederick is going to, you know, bring him out along at the right pace. Um, you know, sometimes with young guys, you don't want to put them in uh, adverse situations where they lose their confidence also. So we're trying to bring him along, but we also know what he can do. So it's, it's not a lot of numbers that's going to be there when you think about it. So he'll get a chance to get quality reps. Yeah, only what, uh, two or three quarterbacks on the roster, so. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we're we're still, you know, we're still kind of, you know, looking around, you know, maybe and, and seeing what's out there. But I just I give kudos to the guys that, you know, those two, they've done a tremendous job uh, with Chris and uh, Trazon this spring. I thought they made tremendous strides. Uh, you know, Chris, of course, being a, a transfer, um, but he's come in here and he's done a really good job of learning the system. I think Coach Frederick has made it more, you know, quarterback friendly. He's done a tremendous job, um, you know, with those systems and those guys, you know, they made some they made some big throws yesterday. 
So, coach, I tell you, I was uh, I'm I'm not gonna lie, I was I was a little apprehensive with running back, run it back. You know, I saw <laughs> all of the, you know, all of the 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 excitement and everything that was going on through the swag. I'm like, man, they are beefing up out there. It's gonna be tight on us. But man, you got me excited. <laughs> you, got, you got chills going down my back. We we, we gonna be running. <laughs> hey hey, run it back up. Huh? Run it back up. Huh? <laughs> hey, you know, just gotta hey, just gotta line down and, and play the game. And um, like I said, I think the, uh, the talent is there. Um, it's just a matter of us going out there and and taking it one game at a time and being being focused. Well, hey, we look to uh, we look to be that 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 fifth element of support. From the stands and, and and out on the out on the uh on the tailgate side of things, so you know, hey, let's get it done. Get I, it done. I, well, awesome! I, I appreciate you guys having me. And hey, obviously you can tell I'm a talker now. I was a communication. Yeah. I was a communications <laughs> major undergrad also. So uh, we appreciate <laughs> it, though, Coach. We appreciate it. So, uh, We're gonna definitely have to have you back on in the fall. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We, we're gonna have to yeah, catch you on the sideline to too. Communication, man. We're gonna take it. We're gonna take it. <laughs> okay. Say, we got to catch him on the sidelines there. Well, I, I appreciate y'all having me. I appreciate y'all having me. Thank you very we much. Thank you. We thank you for coming. You're welcome. And, and we'll be right back with some they ready shout outs. <laughs> 